Hey, Colleen, how's it going? Good. What are you up to? I am tuning my new bar. What do you do when you crack a bar out of the box? So when I first get a trust bar, uh, I do a couple. I do a couple things to make it work just the way I want it to. Um, one really important one to me is to uh, decrease the throw a little bit. I don't have really long arms, so I like to I like to shorten this distance here so that I can reach the bar really easily. So by doing that, I like to bring this cleat closer to me, uh, and I'll show you how to do that. It's actually really easy. So all I'm gonna start with is I pull this out here, uncleat it, I'm gonna shorten the length that goes towards the bar, and I'm just gonna feed everything through. That's looking pretty good. Uh, something else that I really like to do to my truss bar when I first get it uh, is I'm gonna take your safety ring here and I'm gonna put it into suicide mode. So it's important to note that this is only this is only for very experienced advanced kiteboarders because if you uh, if you let go and you just have you have your leash attached to here but you haven't ejected, the kite's not going to fully flag out, so it's really important to be aware of what you're doing when you do this. Um, I, the reason why I like to do this is because I like to do unhooked freestyle tricks. So I can still clip my leash to here. I can do my trick. If I crash it, my leash is going to attach to here, and it's going to—it's the kite is still going to depower by this much, uh, but it's still going to have some pull. However, I like this because then my kite doesn't fully flag out. I can easily work my way back up to my leash to the bar, I can hook back in, and my kite's not fully flagged out, so I can relaunch really quickly. One more thing I like to do, I really like using this flip-flop function on our bar we have here, on the bar ends. So what this does is this actually makes it so that I can change my bar ends from either attaching to this side, or just by pushing those buttons, it's gonna release. I can twist them around, give a little tug there, clip them back in, and then I'm gonna have a little bit more stability in my kite. It's gonna be a little bit more stable for doing unhook freestyle tricks, uh, or just general. generally when I'm flying a smaller kite, anywhere from five to nine meter, I always like to, I like to turn this on the inside. Nice. <laughs> <laughs>